guys, I'm back again, and this time I will be doing a quick review on the NYC Sunny Skin Bronzer, Smooth Skin Bronzer. It's a bronzing face powder, and it is the color Sunny, I guess. You can just call it Sunny. And um, it does look like this. It is in a compact, which I like. It's very thin and easy to travel with. It is a simple plastic, you know, bronzy color packaging. It does look like this in the back. And what I like about this is that if you did not want to use the packaging, like if you didn't want to keep it and you wanted to put in a palette, it is easily depotable. As you can tell, all you have to do is put like a butter knife or something and to stick it and then it will come right out. And what I do like is that the mirror is very big. It's huge and it is one of the best mirrors that I've seen in a palette or a little compact. That's how bright it is. That's me on the camera. And, um... What I like about this is that it is perfect for beginners like I was. I had had it for um, four months already and I still haven't used Hit Pan as you can tell. I've been using it religiously every day to contour my face, warm up the temples and contour my nose and my chin, you know, the basics. And what I like about this is that when I first started using it, I wasn't all, you know, professional with the bronzer and things. So I didn't know how to use it that well. And what I liked about this powder is that if you apply too much, it is easily blendable and you can take away the powder by just keep blending it. And what I like about that is that since it is super blendable, if you did accidentally put too much, it is easy to fix your mistakes. And it's not shimmery, it's 100% matte, which I like because I don't like shimmery bronzers. And the color is perfect. Now, if you do have fair skin, it is a little... Um, it's it's a little tan, which means that you would have to, you know, lightly dust it on, but it's not overpowering. It does have a slight, but the slightest, tiniest undertone of orange. So if you were worried about finding bronzers that was too orange for you, this is not the problem. It's not the case. It is a perfectly, you know, tan, neutral color. It does have the sun around it. And what I like about the product is that it's super inexpensive and super affordable. It is 3 or $4, I believe. And you can find it at any store, Target, Walmart, Kmart, Walgreens, CVS, Big Lots, I believe. Um, what I do like about this the most is that is the texture of it. It's very creamy. And when you apply it on the skin, this is the color it looks like. It actually looks like I have nothing on my finger. But it depends on the way the light hits it, where you get that nice sun-kissed glow and warmth. I will apply it on my hand so you can see. There's a quick swatch. And I'll put another swatch in the inner part of my arm because that is the lightest part of my my body. And this is what it looks like on the skin. And as you can tell, it's not, it's not too orange. It's perfect middle. So if you were looking for something new to try out and something super inexpensive, I highly do recommend the bronzer just because it's perfect for any occasion. You can build it up so it can be more intense. It is easily blendable. So if you were a beginner, it's perfect for, you know, uses and practices. It does last a very long time. Like I said, I had it for four months and I still haven't hit pan. And it comes with 0.33 ounces, which is a perfect size for powder. And if you noticed, right here in the back, it does have like a lid open. What that means is that it's time to throw it out. And this lasts for 30 months, so this lasts for over two years, so it is a must-have holy grail product that you can use or have in your makeup bag from beginner to professional. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review, and please stay tuned for what I have next. If, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It's free. It only takes a second. And leave a like below and comment down below to see what... To tell me what you guys would like to see, um, I do try to review at least once a week or every other day, and I do do makeup tutorials every day, so if that's what you're into, please subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for what I have next.